Okay, so now that my version, that my version of Spider-Man series is practically over, you know, and like Spider-Man and the next predecessor is over and explains what happened, how everything happens after Spider-Man and Miles were, after Spider-Man uh, quits, and then Miles takes up the mentor, but then eventually just stops, and he only pulls out the suit whenever it is like you know a real super villain like let's say a new one like um uh give me a minute uh let's say um um shocker okay so yeah but you might be wondering well then how how are new enemies not appearing you know, because of that multiversal ball being broken with the universe coming back, how are more how on how are more people not coming into this universe and it's simple. Sable rocks on and the National Police Force built a device. And it was located in the middle of the city underground. It was gaining energy and eventually they launched it. What it did was that it it sucked up five people to go to the multiversal tunnels, right? Basically, what it is is that's a small tunnel, and at the end there's a wall. And usually, there's supposed to be a big. There's supposed to be an energy holder there, right? A big old circle with, that can absorb electricity and a giant beam of co colorful energy hitting it. But there wasn't. So they fix it up and then boom. It goes, uh, it shoots rainbow colors and then we can see the wall starting to be fixed. And then boom. So basically, if you don't know, that wall is how they get into the multiverse, right? That wall is broken, then they can, then they just randomly teleport in there. Well, uh, basically, if another universe has the same problem, then the um, then uh, they could be teleported in uh, the other one. So if there are two broken ones, someone from one could be teleported to the other. And the way to fix this was there was an energy absorber, right? that would get that multiversal energy coming out of that machine and then it would use it to keep the multiversal wall together but since there wasn't any of that multiversal, multiversal energy couldn't fix it so when they fixed it up and then it worked and it shot at it it used that energy to fix up the wall and it's keeping it maintained okay Oh, but then what happens to, you know, um, the villains who have all those diseases? They die. Right? Basically, what happens is that um, Electro, Vulture, all of them die. Even Sandman. But then when Rhino dies, coin, uh, this, uh, this version of Venom... Um, takes over the body. Right? Oh, but then what about the symbiote? Um, Spider-Man got? Well, it's simple. Spider-Man still has it. Basically, he fears that if some, that there were, that actually, um, Rhino knew Spider-Man's identity. He knew he was Peter Parker. But he, but he still wanted to fight Spider-Man, so he didn't leak the identity. So Spider-Man was afraid that if they managed to like, that maybe Rhino did did tell somebody, and that if that person's still alive, other super villains could use him to figure out who Spider-Man is. So he has a symbiote in him to protect himself. But he hasn't used it in years, right? Like ten years. Um, yeah. Um, 
uh, this Peter Parker's love interest marries Peter Parker. And, uh, yeah, they're happily married. Miles Morales is mainly working on high school. And just, you know, just making sure he still has those abilities if he ever needs them again. Oh, who takes care of the crime? Sable rocks on. Oscorp and the police force. I mean, they do a really good job. Right? Really good job. So, yeah, they take care of that. So, yeah. That's it for now. Bye.